the universe has a way of guiding us even when we feel lost. In today's tattle, you will get another glimpse of the path of acceptance and forgiveness that aligns us with the natural flow of life, trusting in our journey. This is your future calling. Are you ready to answer? Thank you for joining me. My name is Vani and I am the Tarot Tattler. Let's dive right into today's Tattle Taurus. Thank you for your shares, your likes, your comments and your subscriptions. Thank you for all of the ways you are helping me grow my channel. Now, take a deep breath and clear your mind. Here we go, Taurus. The Eight of Swords. This is being in a mind space of feeling as though you are ready to get out there but in some way feeling as though you are being held back in some way. Now Taurus, this sits in your hopes. Well Taurus with the Six of Wands, hoping that you are going to be recognized for whatever healing you have done, the efforts that you have put in. Now Taurus, you have all of these doors open to you and you don't realize it with the hanged man as the energy balancing you. This is having a new perspective, opening the door of possibility to be able to see things from or with a different view perhaps, Taurus. Now in your fears is the Knight of Wands. This is an energy of bursting forward with enthusiasm. This is having a bottle of energy to be able to access on a, on a daily basis. Now it sits in your fears, Taurus, fearing that you are not going to be able to hold back to what you truly love with the Ace of Cups, a new beginning in love. Now Taurus, what you should know with the Empress, we are talking about the embodiment of all of the Queens. This is someone who is the source of inspiration, someone who is fearless, unconditionally accepting of others. Now Taurus, this is what you have been creating without realizing it. In your hidden position, Taurus, is the Knight of Pentacles. Slow, steady movement. Now, the Knight of Pentacles may have slow moving energy tagged onto him. Taurus, but he embodies dedication, hard work. This is the steady pursuit of your long-term goals, Taurus. This is finding a strategy in order to be able to implement it. Now you, in your current environment, and how you are able to do the healing Taurus is through some kind of creative endeavor, something that you are working with, working on with others. Wow Taurus, this is recognition for your life's journey. This is talking from life experience with the King of Swords, accessing your energy of the intellect, 
using it in order to be able to shape your world and those around you. This is having had exactly the right experiences in order to be able to share it with the world, Taurus. This is recognition. This is fame. It leads you to a new beginning, Taurus. Now this new beginning sits in your current environment. You may have seen the spark of it yet. But most of it is being hidden be, uh, be below the surface, Taurus. Now with this energy as what is balancing you, it tells you to embrace life's uncertainties. Use your optimism. Now, your physical world, Taurus, with a page of pentacles. This is good news coming your way. Something that you might have put out there enthusiastically reaching for what you love, Taurus, despite it sitting in your fears with the Page of Pentacles. This is something that possibly relates to your financial matters, Taurus. With the Queen of Cups, this is a queen who reflects emotional intelligence, someone who has balanced her emo emotion enough to allow each person to be exactly who they are. Taurus, this might have been taking a small step With the Queen of Cups, we could be talking about a water sign, a Scorpio, a Cancer, or a Pisces. Now, Taurus, what you should know with the Seven of Swords is that you don't have all of the information. Now, this may be related to something you are creating. But there are things that are hidden. Things that are hidden below the surface. Like your new beginning. But it is something that you are going to be able to access, Taurus, in your current environment with the Eight of Swords. It's going to require you to quieten your mind in order to find and access that which is hidden. Now, your past position and what has brought you here, Taurus, is the ability to be able to find that karma space in your mind. Despite what was happening around you, you were able to reach for that one space, one fission of beauty and peace and calm your mind enough to be able to enjoy your present moment. Wow, it allowed you to make some kind of choice, Taurus. Or so it might have felt. With the Seven of Cups, it might have been an emotional to choice, Taurus. And know that with fate and destiny, you couldn't have chosen wrong. We've always made the right choice. But among those choices, Taurus, are important bits of information that you actually have access to in some way. <clears throat> it is something you're going to be working on, Taurus, with your new beginning. 
This is hard work. This is dedication, Taurus. Now, where you are headed, another ace, a new inspiration. Something that you took the first step towards in your current environment, it leads to something that you are able to grow, Taurus. It might be a book. <laughs> it changes everything, Taurus. Using your heart and emotion, using life experience, is able to turn the cogs of the cycles that you are experiencing, allowing you to take that step forward. Now this might be something that relates to your heart space, Taurus. Wow, Taurus, with the Five of Swords, what required your calmer space in the mind was some kind of conflict, something that affected your heart space, something that is now given a chance to heal. With the Five of Swords in this position, it talks about feeling as though you have to win at all costs. It would have been a conscious feeling. It might have been the energy that was around you at the time, Taurus. Something you didn't have all of the information of. Now, in your hidden position, wow, this clarity brings in the sun success. A new clarity. Wow, Taurus. It allows the sun to shine on your life. Being able to find that healing and turn the chapter. Now where you are headed, Taurus, with the High Priestess, it was only with that clear space in your mind that you were able to follow your intuition, Taurus. Enough to be able to guide others enough to be able to perhaps see beyond the illusions. Wow, Taurus. This is using your intuition with whatever it is you are creating. Look at the curtain. This is something that you are creating, putting your heart and soul into Taurus. You are about to be able to break free with all of that hard work, Taurus. Finding a firm foundation with the Four of Wands, this is being able to set down roots with the Four of Pentacles. This is secret knowledge. These are secrets. Whatever your creation, whatever your inspiration is, Taurus, relates to something that is hidden. Wow. Now Taurus, with the Two of Cups, this is exactly right. This is something that you will look back at as some kind of soul bond steering you in the right direction, something that is exactly right for you. Wow, Taurus, delving into secret information and breaking out with love, Taurus with the magician. This is what you have created. Being able to turn your intuition and st 
steer it in a way that touches our material world, create the magic that dances between the ethereal and the tangible Taurus. And in your hidden position, this is something you are going to work on. Something you are going to work on night and day. Night and day, Taurus. You will not sleep. You are going to be this inspired. And with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, having that Midas touch, this is having mastery over material wealth, stability. This is having the energy to create and sustain abundance. Now, Taurus, I wish you all the best. I hope you've enjoyed this tattle. Pardon my voice, I have a bit of a cold. Until your next one, bye for now.